I'm a, a, a musician, mainly a blues and roots musician, and I was doing some I was doing some research on the blues, and I came across Louisiana State Penitentiary, uh, also known as Angola, and it's off of Highway 61. And uh, in doing some research, I found that it has an incredibly, incredibly rich musical history. And um, so on a journey down Highway 61, I called them up and asked if I could come in and have a tour, which they obliged me with. So. Um, I eventually met the musical inmates that are there today. They had some very famous inmates in the past, Lead Belly and um, Robert Pete Williams and all of this. And so I eventually met inmates, musical inmates uh, that are there today and decided that um, it would be great to do a concert. But rather than doing a concert for the inmates, which uh, has been done, and they do get a lot of people wanting to do concerts for them, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I uh, thought that it would be really interesting to do a concert with the inmates. So this is a journey. Um, it's a story uh, that evolves. The concert is sort of a backdrop. I, I perform with musical inmates at Louisiana State Penitentiary, maximum security. Uh, uh, facility and um, but it, the the film has turned out to be mo much more than just the concert it has it's the inmates have uh, opened up and they tell their story and so uh, it asks many questions of you of, of uh, how you feel about forgiveness and redemption and if people have a right to to forgiveness and um, it's it got pretty heavy I hope that audiences are moved to think about how they feel about forgiveness, uh, how they feel about redemption, how they feel about people being incarcerated for 30 years for um, smaller crimes than what we would have in Canada, for instance, that amount of time. I hope that it tugs at their heartstrings a bit. And besides, of course, enjoying the, the music and the concert, um, there are a lot of moral questions that are raised in this film. And uh, what I hope is that some people's mind might be changed, um, but at the very least, it will uh, tug at people's uh, moral fiber a bit. Uh, you know, I started off thinking, well, it would be great to uh, perform for the inmates. Well, they get a lot of people performing, you know. Um, and then after I met the musical inmates um, and got the okay to perform with them, um, I was told by, by the uh, wardens and the, the, you know, the, the gatekeepers at Angola, if you will, um, that this was something that they, uh, that's never been done to their knowledge, certainly not at Angola or Louisiana State Penitentiary or anywhere else in the U.S. that they know of. So this was something totally different. This isn't, you know, uh, as wonderful as the Johnny Cash uh, performance for the inmates is. This isn't that. This is, uh, I perform with the maximum security inmates in Angola, and this was something totally different. So once I got the okay to do that, uh, I thought, you know, this should be documented. We should film this, right? Because it's never been done. We should film this. It's a big thrill to be here in, at, at Rain Dance. Um, uh, this is our, our uh, European debut, so um, you know we're very, very excited. Everybody's been wonderful, and I think that traveling around London in the last couple of days, I think I might have lost a few pounds. <laughs> so it's a thrill to be here.